Hey everybody, here's Chad here. Just out for a walk out behind my house today. Uh, wanted to get out on this nice day here. Haven't had much time to get out with work. I'm busy at work. Um, but out today to uh, try out a new pack. You can probably you might see it there. I know it sounds a little bright, but it's an all black Z Pack Arc Blast. Uh, I had an Exos. I still have my Exos. Um, have a 38 and a 50 liter, and I don't have any complaints with them, but I wanted to get lighter, and the new pack was the way to go, so I branched out and went and purchased a new pack, so today I'm out to just see how it feels. did all my weights yesterday, and I'm at 11 pounds, actually 10.95 pounds. Um, it's a little heavy because of my quilts. My quilts are both uh, cold weather quilts. They're a 10 degree and a zero degree, so I could lose some extra weight there, but that's down the road when I go to buy a new set of three season quilts. But we're gonna walk back through the woods here and then we'll stop and go through what I got in the pack. guys here it is the old black z pack arc blast but i'm impressed with this so far how light it is so let's go ahead and tear into it okay so we'll go ahead and uh go through my pack and i'll show you what i carry here for uh my 11 pound base weight um first off these are my lucky ultra lights i usually have two of them uh, i just brought one out today since i was only out back behind the house um as far as clothes I usually have uh, Columbia zip-offs. Um, my shoes I are uh, La Sportiva Wildcats. And I usually just wear this Under Armour pullover. Um, jumping into the pack here, on the outside, I got my uh, Cuban fiber tarp with doors. And I keep it in a, this real light mesh snake skins. So I think it lets it dry better. Also on the front here, we got uh, my Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket. Light little foam sit pad, works really good. I've already got a hole or two in it, but really light. Then we got some uh, Tyvex that I use for a ground cloth. Again, really light. On the side here, I got a one liter smart water bottle. Usually I only bring one. Um, it all depends on the area. Jumping to the other side, I got two water bladders. Um, I usually bring two of these, and that way if I poke a hole in one or if I need to just carry some extra water for the night, but I usually bring two of them. Uh, along with that, I have the uh, Sawyer Squeeze. Works really good for me. It's what I like to bring. Uh, this that kept falling out is uh, my Dlorman Rach SE. Uh, I can use it to uh, track my track my trips. I can use it to uh, stay in touch with my family, especially if I don't have uh, any cell phone service. So it works really good for me, and uh, I like it a lot. Digging deeper, I got uh, my tent stick bag with four groundhogs with my lines wrapped around them. Last in that pocket is just a good old trusty black diamond headlamp. I usually bring a cup three extra batteries for it or two extra batteries. I forget what it takes, but I usually got some extra batteries in my personal kit. Uh, that's it for the outside. Usually I keep snacks, map, compass, maybe my cell phone uh, in the front pockets. But these front pockets on this thing are huge. Jumping inside, a lot of space. I don't even have half of this. Probably only half of it taken up. Jumping inside, we got a uh, food bag, an eight liter uh, stuff sack, and there's some string and a carabiner inside there. Uh, that way I can hang it up. 
hammock, four bonnet blackbird with cinch buckle, a uh, suspension. I love the hammock, it's super comfortable. Next is um, I cook kick pot koozie so I can I like pot koozie so I can rehydrate my, my bag food in it. But inside is a spoon lighter, uh, my windscreen cat pan cat food can stove. So all together in that way keeps it all organized. Next, got a uh, personal kit, toilet paper, body glide, got wipes, medicine, compass, extra batteries, uh, repair kit for my tarp, just anything just kind of floating around all kind of sits in here. After that we got my uh, clothes bag that also doubles as my pillow. Uh, it's pretty comfortable, I really like it. Inside, I use a uh, just a black trash bag uh, for my for my water layer, just in case it would something would come through to pack to keep my 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 down jacket or my my quilts dry. But in here, I just have a uh, just an REI down jacket. It works great for me. It's still pretty light. I pair it with my outdoor research jacket when it's really cold, and it, it's pretty, usually good for me in the winter time. Next, we have my uh, Enlightened Equipment Revolt Zero Degree Underquilt. It's a full length. Um, I get cold easy, so I usually bring this. If I have, if I get too warm, I'll just fold it under, or open it up more uh, until I'm able to buy some 30 or 40 degree underquilt sets. But that's what I have for that. And then last thing here is. Uh, my Enlightened Equipment Revelation 10 degree top quilt. Uh, again, I said I went for the, the cold stuff first before I got, before I went into the warmer weather stuff because you know, I hate being cold and I get cold easy. So they're very, very warm. I haven't had any issues with those. And then just a light trash bag. Other than that, it's a great pack. Uh, once you got the, once you get the arc down to what you need. Uh, I'm still playing with it. They get it figured out, but it seems to be pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll post my uh, weights below in the description. Well, I got the pack put together. Still trying to figure out where and how I'm gonna have everything situated in there, but I'm sure I'll change it a hundred more times. But overall, it feels great. Super light, super comfortable. Uh, I'm glad it has the back support in it so that my back doesn't sweat as, as bad. Uh, that's what I liked about the X's with the Airstream. So hoping it's pretty much the same. But see it's pretty nice pack, pretty pretty small. Hugs my back real nice. I like it a lot. But anyways well thanks for watching. Uh hoping we'll be making some more videos here soon. We've got a trip planned in May for a little uh, Highland hiking trail with uh, some friends and a couple of fellow hikers here on YouTube and I'm sure we'll be making a video for that one but anyways uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys out there